Here at the dairy conference in Clonmel today, I'm joined by Katie Carden, who's a doctor working in the School of Veterinary in uh, UCD. So Katie, you're looking at uh, Q fever. Can you tell us a little bit more about it and why you're interested in it? Yep, so I'm working on a new study in UCD Severa, uh, which is based in the vet school, and it's in collaboration with RCSI, St. Vincent's Hospital, and Tagish. And we're looking at Q fever, which is a bacterial disease, and it's a zoonotic disease, meaning that the infection goes from animals to people. Um, I guess why it's important is that we know that there's a level of Q fever in dairy cattle from bulk milk tank testing as part of herd health programs as well as testing in the regional veterinary laboratories. But we detect a very low level of cases in humans a year, less than five cases. So we're doing this study to see how much Q fever is there in mostly people who work with cattle because that's the main source of human infection. Um, so we're recruiting farmers and vets here at the conference and again tomorrow um, in the dairy conference in Cavan. And all that's involved is a simple questionnaire and a blood sample to test for Q fever antibodies. OK, so how would people know if they've had Q fever? Most people wouldn't know if they've had Q fever. The infection can often be asymptomatic or with very general symptoms, but some people do get quite sick and they end up hospitalised. So they're really the, mo the only cases that we're detecting. OK, so if people want more information on the study, you can visit the UCD website at www.ucd.ie.